He and a colleague have examined the increases in temperature on the Earth's surface over the last 25 years and compared them to satellite measurements of the temperature on the lowest part of the atmosphere, the troposphere. In 1988, when a dramatic statement was made about global warming based upon surface thermometers, my colleague Roy Spencer and I thought there had to be a better way because a surface thermometer network was not really global and had a lot of problems. So we used weather satellites. Well, we brought together the results of seven or eight different satellites that were launched at different times and strung together a complete time series of what the Earth was doing. No one had done that to that point. Once all of these satellites were strung together, we could then look at the temperature change over time. And the strange thing we found was that there's very little change in the global temperature. And uh, this was a surprise to us because the surface temperature showed an increase, but, but this bulk of the atmosphere, the real climate system, was not. And that then caused us uh, uh, to realize that the human effects of climate are likely not happening the way we think they are. And uh, that then uh, allows us to question what climate models are telling us about the world. Long before satellite measurements of atmospheric temperature began, balloons were used for this purpose. Now where exactly do you want me to launch from? They carried thermometers into the atmosphere that could return data to the surface by radio. This method has been in use for 50 years. Okay. When Christie compared data from the satellites and balloons, he discovered that both methods returned the same results quite independently of one another. In the last 25 years, the lowest layer of the atmosphere has hardly become warmer at all. Nice job. And these two very different and independent systems are telling the same story. And that story is the mass of the atmosphere is warming at a fairly slow rate. It is not catastrophic, it is dr not dramatic, and it does not reflect what we find in the projections of climate models. John Christie's results caused astonishment and confusion. They show that the expected increase in global warming has not begun. Meanwhile, his conclusions pose another question too. How reliable are surface temperature measurements? Atlanta, Georgia. A rapidly expanding city of the kind familiar almost anywhere in the modern world. Nature is slowly being forced onto the retreat. Forests have been felled to make way for residential areas and shopping malls. Fields replaced by office blocks in stone and concrete. And the space between the buildings has been paved over to become motorways and parking lots. The switch from countryside to city has changed the local climate. Modern man sweats from the urban heat island effect. If you go to a city like Atlanta or Washington, D.C., you can find temperatures 5, 6 degrees C and even more in the city center versus the surrounding countryside. And, and everyone knows this is because of the concrete and the asphalt and so on. Unfortunately, that's going to have an effect on whatever thermometers are nearby. And that then gives you a false impression of what's happening in the long term of climate. Now, it is true that the climate of those cities has warmed, but not because of greenhouse gases increasing, but because of the change in the uh, surroundings and the uh, building of structures. We humans are changing global climate. Concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere are at their highest levels in more than 200,000 years. If the trend does not change, scientists expect the seas to rise two feet or more over the next century. Island chains such as the Maldives will disappear from the map unless we reverse the predictions. Thank you very much.
The critics we've met question whether the global temperature is man-made or dangerous. They thereby question whether sea levels will rise as well. But if the United Nations climate panel predictions are correct, vast areas will be inundated. The low-lying Pacific Islands, populous countries like Bangladesh, and in particular the Maldives in the Indian Ocean, are doomed to extinction to catastrophic effect in terms of lives. <laughs> Professor Niels Axel Myrna of Stockholm University is on his way to the Maldives to conclude many years of studying sea levels around the archipelago. He is the president of an international commission on sea level changes and coastal evolution. And he and his team made a discovery shedding new light on the future of the Maldives. I have something which sheds a completely new light on the future of sea level changes. It's a wonderful piece of evidence. It's really a skeleton which has been in Sweden for analysis and it tells a very important secret which we will decode here in the Maldives. I became very interested in the Maldives for one simple reason because here you can study sea level changes and the various factors which interact to change sea level in a way which you can do in no other place on the globe. The IPCC report had a chapter on sea level changes. In their writing they say that low-lying um, areas like the Maldives, specifying the Maldives, will be subjected to a future flooding and they will disappear from the surface of the earth within 50 years or at the most 100 years. These were, so to say, the baggage I came with. And then we began our research, not knowing what I would going to find. The first thing I found was a, a tree uh, in the Viligili. And then I heard from the people that this tree had been staying there in the same position for at least 50 years. This is quite a remarkable tree, because it has been in this terrible situation right out on the beach, and any little change in sea level would have wiped it out. And with this position right on the beach, totally, any minute, so to say, it could fall over of a big wave, and it hasn't done that for 50 years. That tells us a very important fact. Sea level can not be in the rising mode. It can be stable, or it could be a falling mode, but certainly not in the rising mode, because then it would have wiped out that. And that is the message of the tree. <laughs> 